Here we are in Charles Fraser's wilderness home. Here's the shower. Arendorf Forest Garden. Arendorf Forest Garden. So here's the here's the shower. So check it out. This is like an outdoor heater. It goes to a gas canister, and our hose comes in here, and we get nice hot water. Uh huh. We just built this. There's the shaving kit. Last weekend. Last weekend. So this is quite fresh. Yeah. Here's the teepee and the geodesic dome. Forest garden supplies, and I'll I'll go back. Hey, John. <laughs> I'll go back past the mirror to the uh, to the loo. So he said he digs it knee height. There's the loo, and he, he has privacy plastics all around, but it's been quite windy, so they've been pulled back. There's a previous loo site, and there's an ostrich fern composting it all into healthy nature. Here's a previous loo site, and there's previous loo site. So he moves the loo regularly and moves this privacy wall around it, um, and then plants ferns that help digest. Going back into the main part. Oh, that looks like the kitchen. May I come in? Solar lamps. May I come in? Yeah, of course, bro. This is it, but it's just been robbed again. What? What's been taken? They take my my um my uh, cutlery and my pans, and they take my bedding and they take my sheets. They've just taken my fucking um uh. They never take my Wellington boots, the fucking morons. But they excuse my French, but they have taken my um dressing gown. Oh my gosh. They, Stolen your dressing gown and your knives and forks. Yeah, I know, that's stupid. But anyhow, when this is put nice, it's really shanty. We project on there. I work facing this way. Now, check it out. If we're going to build electrostatic levitation craft, <laughs> this is how you want to do it. We have a nice uh, Abhar coil in the middle, generate enough electricity to create a gravity well with high voltage. Google lifters, and you can find all sorts of experiments on that. And uh, yeah, man, this is uh, geodesic structures. They're super strong, they're windproof, um, and um, yeah, it's living in a tent. And it has insulated mat as the as the core skin. So I, I bet this insulation level is actually quite high. You probably have to vent it in warm weather. Yeah, but it's pretty freaking freezing and cold. Is it unless unless well with the with this heater, like you said, you try to avoid using wood. But I bet it would get it piping hot if you did use wood. It gets really. This is a bit depressing for me having it in being robbed mode. No, yeah, I right. On, I, I, I wrote I can on the guess. door, please don't steal it, because I can't afford to replace this stuff, man. Come well, on, let me show you the other stuff in the Yeah, let, let, let's follow. Okay, so the community is uh, coming up to do meditations. That's our outdoor fireplace. Yeah, yeah. Do you also cook indoors? Yeah, sometimes. But the community is coming up to. Um... Oh no, they stole my. Oh, please, they didn't steal it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Awesome. So we're just cleaning this out at the moment, but it's going to be a meditation room. So we have a nice Buddha there. The sides come down. I've just opened it so that the wind can get rid of all the funguses, which mm -hmm. kind of get under. But we're just busy setting that up. Hopefully, some people in the community they come up and do meditation nights. Who? Uh, guys in the village. Nice. What's what's the spray equipment for? So that's worm piss which you get from worm farms, uh -huh. better than any other chemical. You spray that, I'll show you my peach tree. Uh, it's got leaf color. So, bloody bastards, they're stolen my things, eh? So not cool. Okay, so here we are, we've got a lovely cherry tree here. Roses are coming out, lots of rose hips, a bit of a sea. Um, sorry for the mess, it's a bit messy today. sort of a celery, it was the staple of the Britons. And there's some minus lettuce here in between all these jostabries and raspberries. Have a go at that, that's really lemony. Mm-hmm, wow. There's so much tang in this leaf. And there's some um, red currants there. What is this I'm eating? That's, uh, no, it's not minus lettuce, that's mountain sorrel. Mountain sorrel, yes. Awesome. And here's where we are um, uh, basically leaving it just for nature. And then we come every time we hold hands when we're going to do some work and tune in and ask for the guidance of, of nature. And um, yeah, kind of like do our designs and our plans. We always check in with nature before we do it, like they taught us at Findhorn. And we go these beds in semicircles 
around that even in this last week has been a huge bump of life. But um, yeah, we've got the grapes growing down there on your, below on your right. Here we've got um, a, a, a peach tree, and these um, uh, sea buckthorn plants, which are going to be just covered in these bright orange berries. Full of all the RNA ingredients you need to build up your RNA. Super full of antioxidants, so healthy for you, so healthy. Super medicinal plant, super delicious. There's peaches, raspberries are off the hook this year. We didn't have any last year, but the second year, it's just full of raspberries, there's thousands of bees all over them. So I got the giant here, and unfortunately it snowed the day after I planted my mints. Like I planted 20, they all died. Enough raspberries and gooseberries up in these two beds. Got a couple of Egyptian walking onions at the end there. We're working with perennials so that this is quite a hardy thing. We want to establish something that's a bit more, you know, than a, a vegetable garden. It's, I, I'm away sometimes, I have to go and chase after free energy inventors in the States and go in really wild places. Man. Yeah, how did and, you get this land? Uh, this land was given to us by the Duchess of Norfolk, Georgie Norfolk. So she's a star, man. So the Duke is very kindly like, all right. Check it out, we've got some persimmon. Um, here's uh, 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 yeah, like a khaki fruit, and that's growing over here. Check out my peach tree, let's see how the peach tree's doing with the worm. <laughs> I love how excited you are. It, it'd be almost impossible to imagine. Okay, this is the second. Look at the leaves! The worm piss is working! <laughs> this is really. Look at the leaf curl, look at the leaf curl, look how fucking mangled this lot of leaves are. So this was the first batch of leaves that yeah, came out in spring. The new batch are coming out really nicely. Now I've sprayed it with worm pea, which has bacteria in it that will eat the fungus that causes this. And it looks like, oh no, look, there's still worm, there's still leaf curl there. So maybe I'll keep spraying it, but it's much better than it's ever been coming out so far this year. You have to aerate it. What are the buildings on the edge? Exactly my next point. <laughs> Those are very potential uh, open source ecology tractor making barns. Oh, let's and, go and look at it. And Wikispeed barns. Oh, are they currently vacant? Yeah, well, they belong to the, to the garden. They're used for feeding the animals. Um, but there's less and less animals up here as there's more and more forest gardens. And um, So yeah. is this a, the big dream here? Is this a, a demonstration of how you can live in nature? What, what, were you, what was your thinking? Was your so, inspiration? To provide everything we need abundantly and freely by working in nature's co-creation with nature. Now it takes, if I was a more diligent person, this could be twice as, you know, twice more diligent. This would be ten times more abundant here. If I was My friend left it. He was riding around on the. Do you want to set it on the fence or something? We'll get it on our loop back. I'm just thinking here. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Okay. That was my friend. We, we, we have to feed all the trees. Mm. So, so that's the intention. It's really just. I, I love plants. I love these beings. If you just find the qualities of a tree, like they do a pinhorn or perlandra, really pay close attention. What are these things? They're very giving. delicious and healthy for us. If we eat that, and we don't go and hurt something that doesn't want to be eaten, well, hey, well then actually it's healthier for us. We don't get heart disease. We, we do papers, which now the Prime Minister and the Minister of uh, Trade and uh, uh, Investment are basing policy on. Because it's like, uh, there's nothing more ubiquitous, ubiquitously destructive than our diet, especially eating meat. 50% of all, de uh, um, of all uh, greenhouse gas emissions comes from livestock production. And, the largest driver of biodiversity loss, it's the largest consumer of fresh water, producer of fresh water, the largest driver of deforestation. So what we're trying to do here is create a very uh, a, a polyculture, so it's very food and stable. If something fails, it gets, it gets blight, there's a bunch of other stuff there. And it's, it's very food dense and nutrient dense, it's all organic. 
wild things that are growing up and, and building the soil. Pouring new soils and making the soil of the worms. Look at my shameful electric system here. Call myself a free energy energy uh, researcher. We should get that on camera because that, that uh, represents your shame at the moment. That is, <laughs> that is the level of what and I'm we'll come to. back in five years time. Five left. years? Left. We're using agile, lean and scrum tape. <laughs> come back in five weeks. Five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be on the fifth iteration, iteration exactly. of your independent energy system. Exactly. Well, we're, we're nearly at the first. Very nearly. I love it. I love it. See, I'm still stuck in this, this mindset, this corporate mindset. <laughs> that it has to be years. Yeah. So, I mean, this, is, this garden's available. If someone wanted to come pitch up a teepee and start helping out seriously, and they're dedicated to the Buddhist precepts, they're very, very welcome. Like, we could do with all the help we can get, but not many people are really up for that. Um, may have something to do with living next to me, but I'm not that bad. I'll give you a toilet, even. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so, well, apparently I am that bad. Okay, so here it is. Now, you see the problem. That aircraft hangar has sides. Um, and it has an airfield. Oh, look at this. This is totally set up for maximum awesome. Look, that there's even a, an animal head right here. That is maximally oh. awesome, isn't it? Gosh, ah! why, why is that there? It's, he's been partying too hard. It's a local local guy. <laughs> there's an animal head. Y yes, right there, looking right at us. Okay. And there's hay. Um, now, do any animals currently feed here? Because this hay doesn't look too old. No, they, they put them in here, and uh, uh, it is. It's like a year old almost. Oh. Uh, right, so I steal the hay for my bedding. Uh -huh. What you've got here is a fundamentally sturdy structure with a good roof. That's a good stuff. Yeah, well, there's room enough right here to build just about anything. So we should. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is the option. But the thing, I mean, you can see that it's not really utilized. And it has medieval jousting tournaments and encampments at Arundel Can Castle sign right here. So obviously, we're set to do anything we need to do. Exactly. And, and the castle's there if, if we need to host, host talks ever. I like it. Georgie, I like it. Georgie held a talk with us doing um, uh, free energy technology. Uh, talk uh, before, and everyone came, and it was just a heavenly event. So, look, if, if we had a, 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 shop, a shop in a box, shopping, shopping container. Shipping box, container. Shipping container. Yeah. You know, we could have one over there, a big one. You could fit four in here, and then you could stack them up two high, maybe even three high. Seriously. I mean, not that, not that you need to get to mass volume here, but I mean, you could, you could fit several. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, we have to kind of be sensitive to the fact that they may still want to use it for their animals, but we could definitely squeeze one in. Yeah, probably six, but one is probably enough for, for any type of demonstration need. What's yeah. next door? So that's Arundel Builders, who uh, very kindly put up with me. What, what, uh, what are they? They are a local construction company doing building works. Uh, so yeah, it'd be great to get them involved in the natural building project with the prisoners and stuff, but unfortunately, uh, we live in a sort of a punishment culture. Yeah, right, as opposed to rehabilitative, rehabilitative, like rehabilitative. culture, man. Yeah. <laughs> Take a Saddam Hussein, sit him down and go, my brew. we got to get you talking, man, like, this is not cool. Do you understand when it's not cool? Really explain how love, like, creates a much safer and more, like, a profitable world for him, in every sense, and his family. And then be like, okay, get on TV, say it. Look, guys, I'm really, really sorry. I, this is not the way to do it. I should have been doing it like this. And this is what I'm engaged in now. And I'm working with all the prisoners and the families that I hurt. And I'm helping them. That would do some good, man. That would create some energy security. Um, but unfortunately, oh, no, unfortunately, that's just good. And that's how we're going to do it. It's great. Oh, look at this. Oh, Lord. That's an old squeezer. This is real. You could sell this for a lot of money. <laughs> you could probably use it for a lot of good it's uses. I don't know what it is. What's it for? Basically, when children are naughty, you get their fingers. <laughs> yeah, we used to do that. Well, what you can do is if you coat the rollers with a, a plastic or, or a part all, you can run carbon fiber through and drip epoxy on it and get the optimal impregnation of epoxy in the carbon fiber and make what they call pre-preg, pre-impregnated carbon fibers, and then lay it on the mold and you already have the correct ratio for optimum lightness. 
And I thought it was for drying clothes. I, I bet it can be used for many things where you need to squeeze things, probably making jerkies too, but uh, and tanning hides, but you can also use it in uh, high performance composites. Yeah, so exactly. Rock, here we are at the future, ground zero of Maximum Awesome in Chichester, England. Arundel Forest Garden, you go to facebook.com forward slash Arundel Forest Garden, please come meditate with us, come Monday night meditations at the castle, uh, Arundel Castle is awesome. We, we can designs you can plant stuff i'll look after it if you can't look after your trees all the time man like we have parties together like big festivals everyone's bringing their bandmates along we pay for the like the parties like we would go to any party and then we put half for the garden and half for like the bar people and uh, making the juicy smoothies and stuff like that and the bands and stuff so we can we get trees together and we put them here and it's just like shared land you know this is the really important thing is it's it's that land that is um free that gives us so much time. We don't have to work for money to pay for our land. We can just work for the land. I think that's one of the important things, just to raise the morality enough so that people are willing to be like, that if you understand how to grow nature, how to grow eat, people will give you estates. Come and stay in the castle. Come and stay in my huge palace. You can't afford to buy all the palaces that they would want you to come. You don't have to pay for the upkeep. If you can grow a beautiful enough garden and you have that right intention, then people will be like, here's land, here's everything you need, if you have that pure intention. So like, uh, if we're really st dedicated to serving life, then all life supports you, because you're like part of a bigger system that makes a lot of sense. And these guys who work for the big system, they know the way they're running a system doesn't make sense. Man. So there's people who'll be like, all right, that makes sense. And I know that there's a shaky foundation underneath all of this. We need to get something new going on, man. So like, uh, we, we all know, come and join us, it's fun. I'll, I'll come help you, you help me. I agree.